Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to News 11 at 4. We have a special guest this afternoon. It's the New York Times best-selling author, Dr. Ian K. Smith, is back with us. It's been more than two years, doctor. Thank you so much. It's good to see you in person and not in the box. Absolutely. <laughs> and today we're talking about his new book. It's called Plant Power. Fill up your plate, change your weight. All right, it's the new book and a new way of thinking about the way we should approach food. Absolutely. I am a big meat lover. I love ribeyes and brisket and burgers, and I think most Americans like meat, but I also think most Americans believe we should be eating less red meat and more plant-based food. So I personally did this journey myself. It's a four-week plan. So I slowly take down the meat consumption, slowly increase the plant consumption, because there's so many health benefits from plants. And I gotta tell you, the results for me personally were amazing. More energy, thinking better, uh, better sleep. Uh, we have a Facebook group that did the plan before the book got published. 10 to 12 pounds they lost in just four weeks just by switching to more plant-based foods and not giving up the meat and the dairy. So I, I encourage you to actually to join our Facebook group, which is called Plant Power, uh, because I'm in there helping you. But it really is a plan that's accessible and affordable. This idea of flipping the plate is focused on that idea of minimizing the meat over time. What are some of the ways that people can do this as easy as tonight? So, Meatless Monday. Decide every Monday you're not gonna have any meat. Have a salad every other day. One of your meals every other day has to be a salad. And also, say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna start by maybe two days of not having any meat products. And then slowly kind of work your way up. And once again, we're not trying to make people vegan or vegetarian, though there's nothing wrong with that and vegan and vegetarians can follow plant power. We're, I think most of the country resides in the middle where they say, I should cut the meat down, I should increase the plant-based foods, and so every once in a while you're still gonna have chicken, seafood, and red meat, you're just not gonna have too much of it. I think a lot of people consider that and think that they're giving up flavor when they do that. Doesn't have to be the case. Yeah, not at all. Look, at, these are some sample meals here. So like week one, is, like I said, it's a four week program. But week one, most people probably already have salmon, some brown rice, and some broccoli. And then what we try to do through the program is try to introduce more salads, more soups. But notice here at the end in week four, you're still having a salad, but you're using the chicken, the protein as an accent and not it being the main ingredient of the entree. So still having the meat, but just less of it. And if weight loss is the gain, that can always be accentuated with exercise, yes. how do you incorporate that into a plan like this? I'm always a believer that people should try to exercise four to five times a week, about 30 minutes of moderate intensity. By the way, it doesn't have to be 30 minutes in a row. It could be 15 minutes in the morning, 15 at night. But listen, our bodies need to be exercised. They are great machines. And the worst thing you can do to it is sit it down and not work it out. And it doesn't need to be personal trainer time. Oh, no, 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 listen. There are plenty, on my Instagram, I give people free exercise workouts that they can do with no machine, no equipment. My Instagram is at Dr. Ian Smith, spell the doctor out. But I believe that most, I could do a workout right here. I mean, that's how easy it is. You don't need fancy memberships and big gyms and trainers. Nothing against gyms and trainers, but everyone can't afford a gym and a trainer. So I try to give people all these different exercises they can do right at home. Absolutely. And before we go, tell everybody where they can find your new book, yeah. Plant Power. Plant Power is available anywhere books are sold. And once again, please join our Facebook group. It's amazing. It's called Plant Power. And we have a lot of fun, a lot of contests, and we do a lot of good things. Dr. Ian Smith, so great to have you back. Continued success to you. Thanks, man. I appreciate you.